This video is sponsored by DistroKid. Follow the VIP link in the description down below to get 7% off an already amazing price to distribute your music to the world. If you end up buying this little metal box, you may hardly ever look at it or operate it, but it could make a massive difference to the quality of your mixes. Let's talk room correction and the IK Multimedia Arc Studio. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you're well. Here's a hard truth about mixing. You can't fix something in your mix if you can't hear it accurately. And there's a few things which affect your ability to hear the full frequency range accurately. First of all, your monitors, of course. Not just the quality of your monitors, but the position of your monitors in your room as well. The other thing which affects your ability to hear your mix accurately is of course the room itself. Sound bouncing off of the various surfaces in your room really does affect your ability to hear elements of your mix accurately. That's where room correction comes in. Room correction software adjusts the output of your mix while you're mixing in an attempt to make up for deficiencies in your room. Now, initially it has to analyze your room, usually using a special microphone like this. Then it creates a profile, which you'll use in a plugin on your master bus. Now it's super important that you actually switch that plugin off before your final mix down, because you don't want to apply these adjustments to the mix that everybody else is going to hear in their listening environments. And that's where the Arc Studio is a little bit different. So Arc Studio does come with that special microphone I was telling you about, and it also comes with your analysis software as well. Now you can use the plugin still if you want to, but you're gonna have this little metal box. Now what this means is that you can actually install your profile onto this box, which sits in between your audio interface and your monitors, meaning your monitors are permanently being corrected in your room, even when you're not using a door. So this is also great for doorless studio solutions. That means that you don't have to worry about using the plugin or making sure it's switched off when you do your final mix down, etc. I think this is really very, very handy. Now I've got a little confession to make about how this relates to my particular studio. But before we get into that, after you have made those amazing mixes and you want to distribute your music to places like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, Google Play, etc. I strongly suggest that you make use of our sponsor, DistroKid. Follow the VIP link in the description down below and you'll get 7% off an already amazing price. So here's my confession. My studio monitors, the Adam A7Vs that you can see behind me here, already have a similar system to this built into them. I can actually upload room correction profiles directly to the monitors so that they're permanently being adjusted. However, they do cost around about $1,600 per pair. That may be outside of your budget, or you may be simply happy with the monitors that you've already got. You'll be glad to hear though, that the Arc Studio, including the metal box, the microphone, and the software is being launched at around about $299. You'll also be glad to hear that this is really set and forget. Of course, you have to initially do the room analysis and the software for this is really well designed, especially considering it's something that you're only going to use once in a blue moon, perhaps when you get new monitors or change your room. It steps you through the process of moving the microphone to different positions in your room while it plays some test tones and creates your profile. Then you simply have to try transfer the profile onto the Arc Studio, plug your monitors and audio interface into it, and you're up and running. Now I do feel I have to give this little word of caution for any room correction system. It can work absolute wonders, as long as you've made some effort in terms of room treatment. What do I mean by that? Well, the worst case scenario is that you've just got bare walls. Even a system as clever as this is not gonna help you much. The best case scenario is you've got 
proper room treatment on your walls, which is well designed. But there's lots of things in between which can be really helpful, soft furnishing, bookcases, things that are going to diffuse the sound somewhat. If you've at least made that effort, then I think you will get some benefit from room correction systems. But if you haven't got any room treatment at all, get that done first. On that note, let me know in the comments down below what creative solutions you've come up with in terms of room treatment. I don't think it needs to be that expensive to be quite effective. I'd love to hear from you on that. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you in the next video.